What's inside the kit of PERST4 aiming laser? My name is Anastasia, I am PR director of Zenitco. Welcome to our new YouTube channel Zenitco in English, where we will post unpackings, manuals and interesting facts about our products. What is PERST4 aiming laser? It is a dual laser in visible and infrared spectrums. It has two modifications. The first one is PERST4 red. It has red visible laser. The second one is PERS4 Green Plus. It has green visible laser. What's the difference? First of all, the red one was the first to appear. The second one is uh, that the green has a more strong laser. We didn't make uh, green lasers before because there were no such lasers at the market that operated in low temperatures. In Russia it is important, especially in winter, to operate in low temperatures and we started manufacturing uh, PERS4 with green laser as soon as a laser that uh, could operate uh, in temperatures up to minus 20 degrees Celsius appeared. But the red one is also very good, so it's up to you to choose. Another difference between green laser and red laser is that green laser is better seen by a naked eye in daytime. It's better to see yourselves. I turn them on. The kit of Pierced for green and Pierced for red is the same. So. Let's look what's inside the kit of Pierced for Green Plus. I turn them off. First of all, we have a manual here. A manual is not only in Russian, but in English as well. So we strongly recommend to read it before starting to use Pierced for. Then here is this wonderful metal cylinder great design. It's one of those things that you never throw away. Very useful in every household. Inside it we have a tactical switch KV5P. It has a safety lock from accidental turning on. It has a button and it has a brightness control switch. Also a Picatinny rail to put it on your rifle. And here is the body of Pierced 4. It has a switch here. It is designed to switch between modes. So this letter that looks like number three. It's actually Russian Z, which stands for Zelony or green. It turns on the visible mode. I turn the button and the visible mode turns on. The other position is for infrared mode. These buttons change the brightness. It has a top button to, of turning on and a rear button of turning on. Also, if we need to change the battery, I unscrew this cap. It's very easy, you don't even need a screwdriver. Inside we have one battery CR123. Screw it back. Very easy, very comfortable. These caps are for adjusting the laser, so I unscrew one of them. The one is one for uh, uh, adjusting it vertically, the other one is for adjusting it horizontally. I unscrew the cap like this. Here we have this mechanism. I take a screwdriver or something like this and I adjust the laser. The great thing about PERST4 aiming laser is that when you adjust it, uh, its uh, visible laser, the invisible one is adjusted automatically, so it is very comfortable, very, very convenient. Mm. This protective cap on the back of it is for switching it with a tactical switch. 
I connect it like this, very easy. I turn it on, it doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? Because it is in a safety mode. I press the button, now I can operate uh, the device using a tactical switch. I can turn it on, I can change brightness, I can change brightness both of the visible uh, laser and of the infrared one. In the next video I will show you how to switch modes on the body of Clash 4 by a tactical switch and also by another tactical switch. Uh, you see it here. It is KV4-2. It was designed to work with Pierced 4 aiming device and Clash 2 uh, flashlight simultaneously. Clash 2 is a dual flashlight, also invisible and infrared modes. So when we work with Pierced 4 and Clash 2 simultaneously, we have Four in two, we have infrared flashlight and infrared laser and visible flashlight and laser. So, a uh, full set of things you may need. So, stay connected, subscribe to our channel, also subscribe to our main channel, Zenitko. I will leave a link below the video. There we have more professional videos with shootings, uh, with demonstrating products. Most of them are in Russian, but they have English subtitles to turn them on. You need to press uh, settings button in the lower corner of the video. So see you in the next video. Goodbye.